Pretty exciting crowd out there for Florida's battle with SEC rival Tennessee. 90,800 and change it was the largest crowd in Swamp history. Uh, things didn't start off so well for the Gators. Uh, their offense sputtered a little bit. Tebow didn't look so sharp. Offensive line didn't look so sharp. It was kind of a tough game for them. One of the main reasons they didn't have Deontay Thompson. And you got to give credit to Tennessee's defense. I mean, that, that Tampa 2 really shut down the passing game. Tebow couldn't go deep, so he had to rely on a lot of short passes, or he would run, or they would use one of the running backs. Tebow had to do a lot with his feet. Um, again, the secondary was really throwing him stuff. When you have Eric Berry back there, it's really tough to get any passes going. And Eric Berry had another really good game. Tebow took him head on a couple times, and he came up with an interception. This is the second time in his career now that he started the season off with an interception in the swamp against Tebow. Tebow, uncharacteristic, had about 100 and so yards passing, but what it, he was really dangerous on the ground. It made some really nice plays with his feet when there was nothing to throw to. Again, an another reason why the offense kind of sputtered this week, uh, the flu's going around. Uh, Meyer said that Aaron Hernandez was uh, basically quarantined Friday because he had the flu. Um, Jeff Dimps ran out there with 102 fever, I believe. Um, and he still came down with a, uh, around 33 yards rushing and he had a touchdown. A lot of fans might complain, 23-13 wasn't the, the best way to beat Tennessee. Everybody wanted to see that 50-point that win, you know, all the talk that Coach Lane Kiffin had uh, about Urban Meyer in Florida before the season. There was just so much hype around this game that Meyer admitted that his players were a little pressed. They, they felt a little tight and uh, it was pretty hard for them. I think that you know, they'll regroup after that. Defensively, Florida played really well. I mean, it's tough when you're going against two running backs that are really hard-nosed. I mean, hard to see carry the ball. I think he had just under 100 yards rushing. Uh, Bryce Brown, he looked really good today against Florida when he was able to show off his skill. But again, Florida played really well against a team that loves to run it. Um, one, one thing that, that really came out, Ahmad Black started. Uh, Ahmad came out and he played really well. He was on a lot of tackles early and then basically put the game away in the fourth quarter with a huge interception off Jonathan Crompton. It's, it's obvious that Tennessee doesn't have much trust in Jonathan Crompton whatsoever. He made some nice plays there at the end to kind of bring him back for his interception. But uh, really the, the game boiled down to you know who's going to move the ball and Florida Struggled to get it through the air, so he had to do it on the ground. Emmanuel Moody had three carries for 33 yards. Chris Rainey was the main guy. I mean, with Jeff sick um, and Tebow having to do everything. You know, Rainey is a little guy, and he was taking the ball right up the middle a bunch of times. He went to the outside, and when he's in space, he makes a lot of moves. One guy that, you know, everyone was waiting for, Brandon James, was he going to break one on Tennessee this year, his final game against the Vols? And it looked like from the start that he was. He had a 50-yard return on the opening kick, and then after that, I mean, Tennessee's not scoring a lot, so Brandon James didn't get a lot of opportunities to return one. Uh, I think Florida takes away from this game is that it's going to be tough if uh, Deontay can't go. If he's not healthy, Florida doesn't have another deep threat. Tennessee did a really good job of stopping that shovel pass, but Florida's got to find that guy. And It's still early. It's third game. It's their first game against an SEC opponent, and they're still the number one team in the country. They're 3-0. Meyer said it. A win is a win. You know, it's ugly, but they have the full season. To, uh, to regroup from them, and, and I think they'll be fine. They're going to play a Kentucky team on the road. That, you know, they're scrappy. They have a pretty good secondary, but uh, I think Florida will be fine.